Hello, I'm Gav and I'm a real games journalist and this will actually be my final video for the CVG website. Now, hopefully you've actually enjoyed my videos rather than found them an annoyance which has kept you from watching more GTA 5 videos. One guy in particular, we'll call him Lemsip Max, really didn't like my videos. In fact, he hated them so much that he posted a comment on one of my groundbreaking comparison videos, which said, unsubscribe, waste of time, not funny, just a not in. Now I noticed it was quite a lot of people putting this unsubscribe comment underneath my videos. I think it's one of them internet meme things, which means I really, really, really like this video. Cause I had a quick look at Lemsip Max's subscriptions. I noticed that after he posted the unsubscribe comment on my video that he was still subscribed to the channel. So I decided to send Lemsip Max a little message. Greetings Lemsip Max, I am Gav Murphy, the real games journalist. I believe you recently watched a video of mine on the CVG YouTube channel. I know this because you put unsubscribed in a comment underneath the video. However, upon further inspection of your subscriptions, you appear to still be subscribed to the channel. This obviously confused me a little bit and I just wanted to see what the deal was. Did you change your mind or are you planning on unsubscribing at a later date? Hit me back as I'm sweating here waiting to find out. My employers take people unsubscribing from YouTube very seriously. So if there's anything that I can do to keep you from the impending alteration of your subscription, do let me know. Yours, Gav Murphy, the real games journalist. Now it took a while for Lemsip Max to respond, but finally he wrote, just because people say they're unsubscribing, that doesn't mean they are. For someone who works on YouTube, you don't know much about the site, do you? If I was CVG, I would get shot of you, you're a waste of space, and your hipster beard makes you look like a dumb shit bear. Now of all the insults that have been hurled at me on YouTube, Fat Adam Buxton, Ugly Beard Welsh Turd, Dumb Shit Beer is the best thing I've ever been called. He goes on. You internet journalists don't know anything about gaming. I could do your job better and for cheaper than you if I had your job. Sick of you. Now at this point, I started getting the sense that Lemsip Max was a bit of a wannabe real games journalist. So I checked out his YouTube channel and lo and behold, he'd done some pretty long videos about Call of Duty, some with upwards of 200 views. So I messaged him back. Hi Max, how you living girl? Thanks for your message. It's always nice to hear from a fan. While I was reading your message earlier, the boss of my company that I do my real games journalist in work for read your comments and was flabbergasted that I didn't know about this unsubscribe malarkey. He'd like you to come in for an interview for a job we currently have vacant at the company. It's for the staff writer role on the official Nintendo magazine. This is a real job we were actually advertising for. We had over 500 applicants. It eventually went to Kate Gray, who is awesome. However, Lemsip Max hadn't seen this news. First off, I'm not a girl. Secondly, would I have to move from Scotland to London for the job? Have you seen my YouTube channel? Hey, hey, Lemsip Max. Of course we've seen your YouTube channel. You know the 173 hits on your Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer fail video? Well, 53 of those are from this office. We're always watching it. Can't get enough of it. It's basically chocolate rain to us. Also, you could move to London if you like. We'd pay all your moving costs, or you could do this job from home. Whatever you prefer. Obviously, we'd rather have you in the office though, where we can see you and therefore learn from you. Could you send me more examples of your written work, please? Over the next couple of weeks, Lemsip Max sent me all kinds of stuff, including a 2000 word review of Sonic Colors on Wii. I replied to these with increasingly positive remarks and eventually arranged a date for him to come in and meet the team. I didn't really have a plan at this point, so so I arranged for the meeting to happen while I was on holiday. But I started feeling really bad about this and I was literally about to email him cancelling when this happened. Hi Gav, my friend on Twitter is saying the future publishing is making people redundant. Can I still have a job? I was glad this happened because I was getting a little bit afraid I was going to have to give a Scottish child a job and have him move in with me out of politeness, which isn't any kind of reason to move in with a child to be honest. Dearest Lemsip Max, I hope this YouTube message finds you well. Unfortunately, due to circumstances beyond my control, I can no longer offer you the role of staff writer on the official Nintendo magazine. It's not you, it's us. I flew your writing examples up the flagpole to the boss and he decided you were too real for this company. That and we accidentally filled the role ages ago and just sort of forgot about it. I'm sorry for wasting your time. Please continue to subscribe to the CVG YouTube channel and enjoy my videos. Yours forever, Gav Murphy, the real games journalist. Now this video is called how to deal with YouTube trolls, but I'm not sure anyone, including myself, has actually learned anything other than the fact that if you see the word unsubscribe written in the comments underneath the YouTube video, it means that that person really, really, really liked that video. 
And that's it, forever. At this point, I'd usually tell you to watch some of these other videos I've done or subscribe to the channel. But really, I couldn't give less of a f**k. 